Greetings from the Sunshine State. Today we'll be doing something different. I'm going to be using a, a large canvas. It is 12 by 36 and I have it leveled. I painted the sides black because the base will be black. My base is Color Place Onyx Black Satin Finish. Um, nothing added but a little bit of GAC 800 to prevent cracking. And I'm using, besides the black base, all colors, gold colors, or colors related to gold, or with gold in their titles. And, um, but first, my base for the colors or pouring medium consists of Sherwin Williams HGTV high gloss. It's untinted ultra deep base. Um, it's not available anymore, but I still have some cans left. There are other brands that do the trick. And then that's mixed um, four to one with Minwax polycrylic. So one part Minwax, four parts of the untinted paint. So that's my pouring medium. And then to that I add my colors. Um, basically three to one. Depends on the consistency of the um, paints. Every brand is different. Even colors within brands are different. So if it gets too thick, I just add more polycrylic to thin, thin it out. So my colors, as I mentioned, they're all gold. So this is a 14 karat gold, Deku Art Extreme, Extreme Sheen. And then this one, it's kind of a muted gold. It's FX and the color is, let me find it here, Golden Hour. And then this is Soft Gold. Deku Art Metallic Soft Gold. And then next is Rose, Rose Gold, Lumiere Rose Gold. It looks almost like a copper, pink copper, very rich color. As you can see, my paints are very thick, which is how I want them for this technique. And then another Rose Gold, but a different brand, Modern Masters Metallic Rose Gold. And you can see it's more of a true rose gold and then this one is a mixture of two golds it's golden's iridescent gold oops and this i didn't have much in this bottle left lumiere's uh, halo pink gold so that's why it has that pinkish tinge to it but you can see the gold sheen as well. And then this it looks purple. It's called Lumiere's Halo Violet Gold. And then this one, very beautiful color, Lumiere's Halo Blue Gold. And then in the center I have it's Modern Masters Metallic um, where is it now? Oh, it's right on the front. Flash gold. Let's see. So that'll bring out uh, colors, in, different colors in different lights, depending on how you look at the canvas. And then my cell activators, I, I made up two of them. And uh, since I'm sticking with black and gold, I made up a black one using Golden's Carbon Black and Australian Floetrol. So it's mixed three to one, three parts Floetrol. Uh, until I get the consistency where it drizzles off the stick and then after drizzling, it starts to kind of spring off. So that's the perfect consistency. 
And then I made up this um, gold CA. I'm not sure how it'll work, but I used um, Liquitex Basics Gold. As you can see, I, I, when I run out of paint, I actually cut the tubes in half and scrape them out, and you get quite a bit of paint when you do that. Because um, <clears throat> nothing would come out when I tried to squeeze the bottle, so I got quite a bit of paint when I scraped it out. So I used that, and then I also used the FX. So it's a combination of the two. So those are my cell activators. As you can see, I fast forwarded the video by speed of 10 times because this um, painting pour underwent several transformations and I wasn't happy with the results of any of them until near the very end. So feel free to jump ahead if you wish. Part of the reason I didn't like it was because there were a zillion bubbles. I don't know if you can see them on the um, video, but um, that's why I tilted off some of the paint. I thought maybe it would get rid of them, but I'm, now I'm trying to pop some of them and I used a wooden skewer and my um, culinary torch and that didn't do the trick. And I was 
concerned about using the torch because there are a lot of um, flammable chemicals in this mixture and I don't usually use the torch when I use this technique. Well, it's still covered in a gazillion bubbles. You can probably see them. And uh, I was afraid it was going to dry that way from past experience, it usually does. So I decided to try something totally new. I ended up scraping that canvas to, to use in the future. And I added Floetrol to all of my paints got out a fresh canvas and decided to do something I haven't done since I, I started pour painting uh, fluid art a couple years ago, which is the chain pull technique. So I thought I would give that a try because I thought it would work well with these metallic colors. So here I'm placing a bit of paint in the bottom of each cup and um, just enough to saturate the chain that I'm dipping in. If you are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe below.
balloon to sop up the extra paint that has accumulated in the middle. decided to make a decorative corner by applying balloon kisses. I spoon small amounts of paint on the end of the balloon and dip it on the canvas for neat effects. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. And let me know if you'd like to see me do more chain pulls and or balloon kisses in the future. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe below.